to uh, witness and celebrate this union between Maria and Robert. It's a picturesque setting. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I can't speak for others, but I am genuinely honored to be a part of this blessed day because they are making the choice to share their love with one another and making the choice to be happy. And there are two examples of their love that comes to mind. This is all the Maria, so sorry. <laughs> There's an example of adoration. It's a good day. All right. They're a beautiful couple. It's, it's obvious. She leaves a note on his windshield. It says something like, "You're sexy and I love how you serve." Oh, I love how you serve. And do you think I'm sexy? <laughs> so obviously, it's a good day. You take that love note you keep it on your refrigerator as a reminder that you're the luckiest man on earth because this beautiful woman thinks the world of you. And then there's another one, another example of love, of respect on a bad day. Uh, I don't know if uh, you know, but I work with Maria. I've worked with her for over 10 years. And she's a workaholic. And on this bad day, she's under uh, extreme deadlines. And he just wants a little love. He comes in and she has no time for him. So, he's like, honey, I'll get dinner, don't worry about me, I'll take care of you. And this is where I honestly feel this is true love, because true love happens not on a good day, but on a bad day. I cannot imagine a brighter start to a marriage than choosing your perfect man. Maria and Rob, plain and simple, is the perfect man because they are willing to do anything. Anything? Anything. <laughs> and they agree they are going to have such a great life together. So, as friends and family attending here, I trust we are all willing to make the commitment to love and support this marriage. And as a dude, I have to say this, this is a disclaimer. So if there's anyone present who objects, the reception starts at 1.30. You can see yourself out the door. <laughs> we're still going to hold this ceremony. So if I can ask Rob and Maria to get closer to hold hands. Okay, Robert, it's simple. You just have to repeat what I say. If it doesn't register, just ask me to repeat it. Okay? I, Robert. Take this jaw-droppingly gorgeous woman <laughs> who amazes me every day, every day, with her warmth and loving way to be my lawfully wedded wife. Maria, same thing applies to you. I'm Maria. Take this man who happens to be smoking hot. <laughs> Unending compassion and its selfless duty to love, care, and protect everyone I hold dear. Oh. <laughs> All right. So um, I have to ask the best man, Sean. All right. This is the moment. here are two symbols that represent their love. All right, they're perfect in symmetry and in balance. And like their relationship, the form is simple, to the point, uncluttered, and an example of unified strength. So, Korea, I want you to take Rob's ring. Is that the right one? <laughs> so I want you to place the finger, uh, the ring on his finger, and say, repeat after me, Robert, take this ring. 
as a symbol of my love and fidelity. I promise to be true to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you for all the days of my life. Robert, repeat after me. Maria, take this ring. I'm sorry, baby, take this ring. As a symbol of my love and fidelity, I promise to be true to you in good times and bad sickness and in health. I will love and honor you for all the days of my life. Okay. So with the power vested in me by the Church of Spiritual Humanism of Jenkinstown, Pennsylvania, <laughs> I now pronounce you as husband and wife.